What's going on everybody? This is Cap and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. What I have for you today is a super efficient cow farm. Uh, I actually love this version. It's I didn't focus on, on making it everything super compact, but I wanted it to be really, really efficient. Okay, so you go to the back. This is what it looks like. Okay, you go to the back, you walk up the stairs, okay, and then you can crouch if you want so you don't fall off, but you just stand here face down and you're just going to breed the cows, okay, with your wheat. Make sure you get all of them, okay, and the babies are going to fall down right underneath there. And they are going to take that little water ride and as you see, they're gonna fall here, okay? Now wait till they're all f falling down. We're gonna look in here, large chest. We're gonna press this button. Okay, you might have to press it twice. Sometimes you'll have to press it twice for the for the cows to actually die. Because uh, what I found is with the wooden buttons, uh, the pulse actually allows too much time for the lava to be there. And it actually drops the lava on the babies. You don't want that. So you just press it again and they die. But let's just look in here. Let's just see how much we got. So the uh, the beef, the cooked beef is is really nice. We got a lot of that cooked beef going, as you can see. I did have quite a few of them in there. Um... But yeah, I mean, that's going up really nice. And then you'll start to see the leather. We'll probably get some more leather after after the beef fills up. Wow, I didn't realize I had that much in there. Dang, we had a lot. But you'll notice the babies are uh, the babies are unharmed. The babies are unharmed. I really like this system. There we go. Now we're getting the leather. So we got we got quite a bit. We got quite a bit, and they're not glitching through like in some of my other designs. They're not actually glitching out through the glass. So not too bad for one one press of the uh, one press of the button. Okay, so let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here is everything you're going to need. You're gonna need three oak signs, 14 seeds. That's just if you want this, uh, the weed on the outside. You don't actually need that. Three buckets of lava, six ladders, um, eight oak fence gates. You need some cows, obviously. Um, one cooked beef and item frame. That's just for decoration on the outside. You don't necessarily need that. A wooden hoe. Uh, a lightning rod, this is if you're building it in an area that gets um, a lot of thunderstorms and things like that. I've actually lost cows in the past to lightning strikes, so this is just to prevent that. Uh, shroom light, or any kind of light that you want. Four stone brick stairs, uh, one stone button, five redstone dust. You need one observer, uh, two water buckets, and two stacks of stone bricks, along with three dispensers. You just need some junk blocks, or just take like a stack of dirt. 49 glass, three hoppers, two chests, and again, the wheat is just to breathe them, which I already showed you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to start right here, and we're gonna put down, we're gonna break two down, we're going to put down redstone dust, okay? So that's two, three, four, five, like so. Okay, and I th did I say one observer? Yeah, we need one observer, sorry, because we're gonna have to do that last one, I apologize. That last one, what you have to do is uh, lift it up and then put redstone dust there, and then you're gonna go ahead and put an observer on that, just like so, okay? Cool, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a stone brick there, and we're gonna put a button, the button on top of that, okay, so the button goes right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chest, we're gonna crouch, I'm gonna do a double chest like that. So it's gonna be on top of that uh, that redstone there, and then we're gonna take our hopper, crouch, place it into the chest, break this one, place it into that hopper, break this one, place it into that hopper. So we got our three hoppers going just like so. Okay, then we can go ahead and put stone bricks there and there. And now we can take our dispensers, again, make sure they're dispensers and not droppers. And we're just gonna place them just like that, okay? Don't put the lava in yet. Okay, don't put the lava at all in yet. And then what we're gonna do, I mean, I guess you could, as long as you don't press the button. Yeah, you could put it in. Go ahead and fill these up with lava right now. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break these right here, make them stone brick. Then we're gonna take our glass and we're gonna go across like that. So not this first part of the chest, but the second part. And we're gonna go up, oops, we're gonna go up three with it, okay? So you're gonna go up three. Then once we get on the top here, we're gonna go across three with the stone. Then we're gonna take our stone brick stairs, put it upside down, there, and there, just like so. 
And now we can just make a square going all the way around that's five across. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Okay, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to fill this in right here with dirt, but not up, not there, right here. So we're gonna just place the dirt like that, okay? And this is just temporary because I don't want you to have to worry about taking all of those cows up there. You could, if you if you want to just like walk cows up, like build a build a step ladder, right? You know, going up and putting the cow, like that many cows in there, that's fine. But I figure you just want to get two in there. That way you could just breed it. So what we're gonna do then we're just gonna make a square going all the way around. In the center, we can go ahead and put some shroom lights and then put a lightning rod on top. Okay, and then we're gonna come around it. So just play some dirt and put glass. We're gonna do glass too high and that's gonna go all the way around this. But again, we don't wanna, you don't need that extra glass in the corner. Okay, and for the back, actually it's not gonna be glass. We're gonna break this. We're gonna go all the way down to the floor and this is actually going to be where our ladder is. Okay, so we could just put our ladder just like that and that's how you're gonna get up and down. And now you would put your cows in here and breed them, okay? So you just walk your cows up, you know, you just create a little step ladder, however long it takes to get them up there with a lead. You just need two cows, okay? And then take a while to breed them. It's gonna take a little bit. You get the two cows, right? And then you wanna breed them, uh, you know, until you get a decent amount, until it fills up. So just breed them, that way the babies don't go down. Now you wanna wait until every single baby is grown up. So once you finish breeding, let's say you get like a bunch of babies in here, right? Once you finish breeding, Wait a full 20 minutes, minimum of 20 minutes. I'd say probably wait like 25 minutes just to be safe. I know it only takes 20 minutes, but just be safe. Uh, and then you can come back up here. So once all of your cows are in here, you have a you know decent amount. You want, you want to really fill it up. That way you can have the most babies at once. Okay, once you really, really, really fill it up. Let's see if we can get another one in there. Okay, then you can come underneath and you can actually break this. Now the big cows are not going to uh, fall at all, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take oak fence, okay? And they're gonna think that this is, um, they're gonna think that this is uh, a block to walk on, okay? And you're just gonna put fence, 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 crouch, fence, fence, crouch, crouch, and then another one just like, nope, oh, not up there. And then what you can actually do is, I guess, crouch and put dirt in the middle. That way you can get it on here, like that. Okay, and then open every single one of them. Make sure all of them are open. Okay, just like so. And now we can actually worry about the water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, like so. Okay, and this is where, the, this is where they're gonna kind of float. So we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna come across. Okay, so it's gonna be just like that. That's the platform. Okay, and then we're gonna come on the side and you'll notice that we're just gonna fill it up with uh, stone brick. So you can actually end up bringing all of this down, like this, bring all of it down, just like so. And I think I left that open. I think I left the part, uh, I did leave it open. Yep, so you can leave it open just like that. Okay, so you just really wanna cover it so uh, the water is covered. So it's like this, like this, like that and like that, although we can actually leave those two. Okay, so it's gonna look just like that on the side. Perfect, uh, and now you just gotta get the signs in there actually so we can break, actually no, don't break that because that is your uh, glass. So just keep this part open right here and then what you're gonna do is facing this, the third, the third glass up, so one, two, three, we're gonna place signs just like so, cool and then just get your two water buckets in there. Okay, you're gonna put one on this side, one on that side, and there you go. Now you could bring this part back up, okay? So now when the babies fall, they'll go into the water, they'll be pushed this way, down in here, and they won't be able to jump back up uh, because it's just, too, it's just too far a jump for them, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put stone brick there and there, just like so. We're also gonna put uh, stone brick stairs, I should say, there and there. And then we're also gonna put stone brick there. And now what I like to do 
Uh, if you don't have dirt, if you're building this in an area where you don't have dirt, you have extra dirt right now, okay, to use. Um, but actually what I like to do is grab the extra water before you leave there or just go get more water. Uh, you don't actually need it, but I think it helps. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is underneath this right here, next to where the hopper is, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, water. I'm going to put that back. I'm going to put stairs there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. I meant to tell you to make an infinite water source, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Just like that. And now we're just going to put down, we're going to hold uh, till the ground right here. We're going to put down some seeds. We're going to come to the back over here and you can actually fill this under part in. Okay. You can fill that whole under part in and then we're just going to go one, two, three, four like that. Fill that up. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. Fill that up. Again, that's if you want it. You may not want the you may not want the crops, but if you do, that's where you're gonna put them. Okay? Just like that. And that's and that's the farm. That's it. And then just make sure press the button, make sure the lava works, and it does. Cool. Come up to the top, which obviously you'd be using the stairs, and then you want to just breed them. And uh, you'll see how good enough face down, because if you if you face on like an angle, you might accidentally hit the um, fence gates. So you want to face down as you're walking around because you don't want to accidentally close the fence gates, right? So just keep going around like that. Okay, let's go down. You'll see all the babies in there. And booyah, okay? So once the babies grow up, they will um, obviously be tall enough to be affected by the lava. You come by, you press the button, bing, bang, boom, you get yourself some leather and some cooked beef. There's still some babies in here. Uh, every once in a while when it's so big, the babies will kind of stay, but you can really force them with the wheat. If you're kind of up here when the babies are there, you can, you can force them down. Okay. So you'll notice that that baby probably is already, is already down there. We had four, one, two, three, four. I can't even tell. There he is. He's right there. So he'll come down on his own or you can just keep walking around with the wheat and, and they'll fall down. All right. And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments until next time. Cap out. Peace.